What's up YouTube? Welcome to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're going to be doing a review on a 2022 Toyota Highlander XSC package and we're going to be talking about the exterior, interior and some specs about the car with some slight differences between certain packages. But before we do, please subscribe to the channel, like the video and a special special shout out to Meta Toyota here in Sacramento right off of the Capital City Freeway. But if you also have a car you'd like us to review, here's our email below, just email us. Thanks a lot and let's go ahead and start. Starting our review on this 2022 Toyota Highlander XSC with the front end and what do we see? We see not only that it comes that new front end of course on that Highlander, but being the XSC package, we are gonna be seeing some slight minor differences in trims because you do have an XLE package along with your limited or your platinum package. So, just be aware that you're gonna be seeing little minor trim pieces or things of that sort differences. You do have full LED lighting with automatic high beams assist. Now the parking markers are integrated into the interior side of this headlight housing, which is I'm a big fan because you're not seeing the parking markers on the bumpers or on the fenders. Nice black gloss trim cut piece here, giving it some more character over to the center top grille, black gloss to match those. Along with your Toyota emblem, now the range sensor is right behind this Toyota emblem. Take that into consideration because certain cars will have them different uh, places and integrated in different areas on the front end. Lower black, you kind of have that matte black uh, lower grille. LED fog lights with that nice finish with that matte black glossy kind of in between lower trim piece. Coming over to the side, you do have your 20 inch rims by color. You got the black gloss along with that machine surface silver. Now, again, take into consideration, you're gonna be seeing different rims on different packages. On this XSC, you do have these multi-spoke by color rims. A little bit about the suspension. You do have a, a all-terrain suspension that can be um, changed or more dynamic around different terrains like snow and sand and we're going to be talking about that once we get into the interior of this car two different colors on that trim this is a matte plastic so take into consideration that this is durable will take a beating in the long run very nice on that very clean minimalist look no trim work on the car side mirrors does come lane assist and lane departure with um heated and automatic side mirrors. Integrated lighting with that black gloss to match the rest of the trim on top and that matte black on the bottom. A pillar matte black look, finishing off, coming with the silver, black gloss rails, very cool. Now you're gonna see how this car just kinda comes together all around. Keyless entry on that handle, so you're coming into the door. Matte black trim around with that black gloss right in the center of each window. Continuing on, take a look at those nice body lines. I want you guys just to kind of get an idea of that new look on these Highlanders, how it just kind of droops down, comes over, very nice cut, adding some character, nice elegant feel to the car. Rear end, black gloss tail lights with LED tail lighting. Now, very cool that you do see that multi-color because you got the black with the red and the clear. It's very cool because it gives you that rich feel on this rear end, on that new design. Beautiful Highlander stamped on that tailgate here on the driver's side. XSC with an all-wheel drive on the passenger side stamp, letting you know which package you got and if it's an all-wheel drive or a two-wheel drive. My best advice to anyone would be get the all-wheel drive. You will not regret it. Integrated camera system, lower bumper cover, it's all matte black plastic trim so very durable uh, high quality plastic that you could uh, down the road it is going to take a beating being on the lower side of the car twin tip metallic silver exhaust on this exact XSE package with that red marker integrated into the lower bumper cover now talking about the top spoil cover you have no camera here but you do got that brake light integrated into that top spoiler, which is the same silver of the car. Finishing off pretty much with the exterior, we're gonna head in over to the trunk space. Now by the push of your button right under the emblem, automatic tailgate opening with the self-assist, very convenient. Now into the trunk space, 
all weather mats integrated on this trunk space. Very nice feature to have on these cars because you're in and out camping or whatever you're doing, putting bikes or scooters or whatever for the kiddos. Got your tire gear here with more trunk space for personal belongings. JBL subwoofer here on the back. Now this does come with an 11 speakers premium sound speak sound system from JBL. Big fan of the JBL, grew up with those guys. Very nice V and clear sound. Check this out, you, by the lifting of this handle there, you get that 60-40 seat drop. And now you can connect those third row seats to your trunk space to get and maximize that space. You can pull up by this belt here, but at the same time, these rear third row seats are being able to angle. Very convenient that you have, because a lot of seven seater SUVs, you cannot angle those third row seats, and it's kind of upright, hurting the lower back for longer drives. Let's go ahead and pop those back up. So we're pretty much done with the exterior and the trunk space. Let's go ahead and talk interior. So now on the interior of the 2022 Toyota Highlander XSC package. Now, another reason why this car is super cool is get a load of the trim package that this car does have black with that red. Now, I am a fan of that because you see uh, red on specific packages on different manufacturer cars, but I've been and always been a red interior kind of guy. So very cool. Let's go ahead and start the car for the sake of a video. 8-inch infotainment center, touch screen. You also get the manual buttons to control that. Navigation, you can split the screen. Let's check this out. Continue. And you split the screen. We could also go full Navi here. It also, for your media, you get the Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth. Let's go back home, menu. Now look, touch screen or just manual which is pretty cool i'm a fan of the fact that you can control manually because sometimes people like the manual buttons rather than the touch screen coming down you got your typical control unit for your tri-zone temperature controls here so driver and passenger along with the back get their own temperature controls front seats do come heated left and right of course you let's go ahead and turn that on there you go, and let me just show you a little bit by the turning of the knobs and heated seats here. Cool, let's go ahead and, you could turn on the rear from this control unit and turn it off. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Now, coming over to the cluster, of course, you got that seven inch digital display on that cluster with your manual tachometers. That shows your RPM gauge along with your speedometer miles per hour gauge. Now those info cards in the middle, you can switch up to figure out what the car is doing and where you want to go with it. Let's go ahead and just like that. Let you know what the all-wheel drive settings. You got lane departure assist, of course the range, the range um, blind spot assist. Now let me go ahead and change that drive mode. Let's go from sport to normal and eco it's all letting you know right here what's going on with the car very convenient if you come over to the center console where i'm changing that drivetrain or the suspension setting by the lifting of this little button you go up over to sport and down over to eco hill decline assist with that automatic turn and turn off and turn on engine button snow traction control and of course by this little knob we can come over to sand mud rock dirt right here so all this is your control unit and location four different settings on your suspension and different terrains right here in the middle very convenient spot for your parking brake that toyota puts it right here because a lot of manufacturers will put it here on the left side of the steering column which i find this to be more convenient as you're resting your hand right here on this center council rest and pulling that up very cool manual controls here on the steering wheel black leather with that gray stitching controls all here are manual push button with that metallic silver trim you do have the manual 
adjuster from the lower part of the steering column. Now, sometimes you will see the, uh, the steering columns being electrically um, controlled. Standard rods here for your windshield wipers, along with your lighting here on the left. And over to the door panel, matte black trim with that red, beautiful leather, red stitching in that leather. Very nice offset metallic silver trim to match the rest of the car. Dashboard, JBL tweeters, along with that nice black leather with the red stitching around that top dashboard but look at that shape that toyota does give that infotainment center how it's integrated into the multi-shaped dashboard just very nice look along with this textured field design trim piece coming in so you're getting a lot of character on the inside of this highlander xsc standard glove compartment just like every other car a little bit of more cubby space that black leather with that red stitching to match the seats. Perforated leather seats in the middle and your sides come black, non-perforated. Very cool feel on the seats. A lot of character going on. Looks kind of sporty if you ask me. Cup holders, very deep and wide, which your cups aren't gonna topple over, so that's something else you could take into consideration. USB-C, there's up to four USB-C ports inside this car with the 12 volt outlet and a USB-A plug-in, so nobody is going to be fighting for plugs. Lifting or pushing back of this cap here, you would push this little lever, and it opens up this cubby room for your personal belongings, but before the cubby, you have your wireless charging pad for your phones that you would turn on by the push of a button, and we're gonna go ahead and lift this up, and that opens up to the massive integrated cubby room for your personal belongings removable tray would i have maybe liked to see that this whole cap would lift up at the same time of all this moving maybe but let me know how you feel about that in the comment section below but we're pretty much done with the front side of this interior but before we get over to the back right here is your standard control unit for your moonroof now remember this is manual sometimes you will see different things of electric sun sun visors but i'm a kind of fan of the manual sun visors it kind of brings back the 90s 2000s for me lighting open and close tilt slide option on that moonroof along with the rain sensor right behind this rear view camera go ahead and turn that off let you know what's going on you got your butt button settings for your home and of course just your manual standard rear view mirror with some sunglass area and this little mirror here if you would like to see towards the back of the car all right guys so we're pretty much done with the front side of the interior let's head over to the second and third row talking second and third row seating of this 2022 toyota highlander we're going to start off with the seating now of course they bring that same design from the front over to the back which is pretty cool because a lot of times you'll see manufacturers simplify the seats coming over to the second row got three levers on these seats one to drop that angle again another one to drop it even more making it flat and also a third lever here on the side of the seat to move that forward and you get a whole lot of access room coming into that third row seating very cool feature to have let's go ahead slide this back pop this back up don't forget you do have that little lever for the ones sitting in the third row seatings just in case they're not forgotten they can lift that lever right here on the side of the headrest so and they can pop that seat forward and get out of the third row seating let's go ahead and step inside the car a lot of leg room Let's drop that angle. You can drop these angles on these second row seatings to make it more of a comfortable feel if you're doing long road trips. A lot of head clearance. I'm about six feet, two inches. So take that into consideration. Oh, she isn't handle with the vents right above the head and your lighting in the center of both seats. Non-removable cup holder right here in the center, but you do have that nice access aisle to the third row seating. Big, deep cup holders, big fan. You know us Americans, we love our drinks to be with us. A little bit of personal space if you're gonna set a phone down or things of that sort. Armrests in the center of both seats. On the back 
side of that center console, you have that tri-zone heating and air. Like I mentioned earlier on in the video, you can do controls for the flow, temperatures, and your modes. USB-C hookups on the bottom. These are the other ones that I was talking about. Personal space, typical standard on the back of those first and second seats up top. I mean the driver and passenger. So second row is pretty much done. Let's go ahead and head over to the third row. Now I'm gonna jump right out, pop these seats down just like that. And for the sake of the video, I'm also going to be dropping this one here. All right. Now, oh, got to put that armrest down. So you got that beautiful angle on that third row, but something that I would have liked to see is, remember I was talking about the simplification from the first and second row seatings over to the third row. Now it is just a black leather third row seating. Well, if the kiddos are sitting back here, it is lower maintenance, take that into consideration. But I like to see all three rows kind of just matching. Cup holders here with a little bit of hook area so you can hook some stuff or bungee them down. But pretty simple, straight to the point, third row seating. Black plastic to dress all around that quarter panel area. Vents right up top here. Let's go ahead and check out the leg room. So leg room is good, but if you do have to gain more room up top on the second row seating area, you're going to be taking around out the leg room from the third row seating. So take that into consideration, but I do believe you would have enough room for the first, second, and third row seating, and it is a great room for that. I am about six feet, two inches, like I was saying, and I'm pretty comfortable back here. Do I see myself sitting on the third row? No, I do see putting the kiddos back here or those guys you don't like when they're taking a road trip with you. But we're pretty much done with the interior of this car. Let's go ahead and talk some specs about it. So talking some specs about this motor and the drivetrain on this car, it is a 3.5 liter V6 engine with an eight speed automatic transmission. Now it comes 295 horsepower with 263 foot pounds of torque. Comes all wheel drive with dynamic torque vectoring and a multi-terrain select system. Of course, my advice to anybody would be getting the all wheel drive. 5,000 pound towing capacity with a little bit of MPG. We see it comes 20 city, 27 highway, and a 23 combined. So we're pretty much done on the review of this beautiful 2022 Toyota Highlander XSC package. Now, thanks so much guys again for watching our channel Vagabond Builds. And again, a special shout out to Made of Toyota here in Sacramento, right off of the capital city freeway. Stay tuned, we got some pretty cool things coming. Appreciate you guys.